A video went viral hmm. that captured the moment the Code of Conduct Tribunal Chairman was almost mobbed for assaulting a security guard at Banex Plaza in Abuja. The video obtained by Sahara reporters, Justice Umar was seen slapping the security guard and forcing him to kneel down before he was restrained by the crowd. Now, he was then forced into his vehicle by the police officers. What are your thoughts when you saw that video? Let me okay. start with um, uh, see, top okay. 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 This is just a similitude of what pervades our society, where someone has a bit of influence or a bit of power, and the person lords it over everybody and commandeers everyone into obedience. And it, it's, a, it's a bit... It's sad to see it at such levels now. Like, we're, we're, we've carried our bad character mm. inside, <laughs> and now we have become important people and we're displaying our bad characters mm. outside. Okay, so my thoughts. When I heard Code of Conduct Bureau, As I had to go and check. I'm like, I mean, for what it says, Code of Conduct Bureau, I'm like, how are you involved in something like this so openly, you know? And it says their mandate is to establish and maintain a high standard of public morality in the conduct of government business and to ensure that the actions and behavior of public officers conform to the highest standards of public morality and accountability. So in a class, you are the class monitor where you are supposed to ensure that everyone behaves themselves yeah, really and so. you are supposed to be the example of good behavior and then you find yourself in a situation like this is really sad i really feel bad for him i mean the irony is so you know it's fun it would have been funny if it wasn't so sad and as you said talk about this is just something that we do almost every day but my other thing is that many times we blame it on the office that people hold and i think that we need to look deeper than that right mm -hmm. it's not about the offices it's about who we, we are yeah. Mariah, this same man mm. would not dare it in dubai he will not dare it in Dubai. He will not dare it in the UK. He won't dare it in America. When your society permits rot, ah. you will continue to smell stench everywhere. Oh, so you. these things would happen because we haven't, as a society, mm. decided that we don't take it. Mm. We've taken it. Very so correct. that's why I said the story of Elisha Abo hasn't served as a deterrent. If right. he lost his position, he, this man will not try it. Thank you very much. I think you made a fantastic point because we even saw it during the um, thing that happened at the State House, the, the Capitol. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hooliganism doesn't have color either. Mm -hmm. yeah. White, black, all races can go crazy. crazy. Mm -hmm. So obviously, it's, it's that it's respect society. of the rule of law. It's mm -hmm. respect the fact that, yes, if I do it, there'll be a punitive measure. Yes. It's the fact that you know that you're in a certain way, it's accepted. That's why you think it's okay. Okay, so it has gone viral. It will trend for a few days. And, and then they move on. on. Yeah. No, and as happened. long okay, as so this man remains, and you know what would be honorable for me? It's for him to resign. Yeah. You are not worthy of that position because based on the fact that... objective is to teach. Yeah. Yes. Every, Don't wait for them to punish you. experience as a teachable opportunity yeah. for youngsters. So they yeah. see this and say, okay, I have an opportunity to teach them that you have to behave properly in the, in the public. So yeah. you either sack him so you or cause him to pay. Okay, first of all, I agree. Because, not just because he was a leader caught on camera, because of the office that he holds or what he represents officially, I mean, the best thing, the best conduct would be for him to resign. There's also a paper that had been put out uh, from his office which was trying to explain mm. why he was found in that um, position. He says he actually did not go there with any police officers mm. and he did not mean to cause any um, fracas with anybody. Oh. It was just that um, he was talking to somebody and the person refused for him to get um, to, to park. The response did not make any sense. I mean, even the wording of that letter was, was sad, you know. <laughs> but it just shows that Nigerians were not very aware of the consequences of our actions. We're not very aware of the gravity of some of the things that we do. And then, you know, you talked about how um, if a daughter of Dangote puts her hand in your face, blah, blah, blah. That is also because as a society, we put money above mm. good behavior. Yeah. Really, the first thing you should do um, is to tender an apology for that uh, video that we watched and also for that response.